Welcome back. Caught on camera, pizza, pizza parlor crooks to Papa John's hit overnight. One of the stores even getting broken into for several times. Yeah, Mike Rogers, any way you slice this, it stinks for the business owners. And you've been talking with one of them tonight, right? Yeah, you know, Susie and Chauncey, these are two Papa John's locations that are owned by the same franchisee's owner. It's a husband and a wife, and they say they've been broken into three times in the last six days. They have two shops, and they say two, both of their shops are broken into just 15 minutes apart. I want to show you the video because they caught it pretty good here. You see the window being shattered and you see three people walk into the business. Now the business owner tells me that they went back and they pulled out a safe. You see them carrying it out right there. Uh, now what the business owner says a lot of people probably don't realize is that these pizza places do not keep any kinds of large amounts of cash. He says maybe they got away with $500. There was more damage, uh, more money worth of damage done than there was taken. You see them coming back in several days later. They actually come in through the next to the boarded window. In this situation, they try to get a cash register, the alarm blaring the whole time. That ultimately scares them away. You see them try to get to the drawer here. That doesn't work, and they take off. And then another business, uh, their other location was also hit about 15 minutes after this. Today, we talked to the business owner just about how frustrated he is. At the end of the day, we're not a big corporation. We're, two, we're a couple that decided to put our life savings into buying you know, a couple stores and, and you know, and just trying to, to survive like everybody else in the restaurant business and then not to have pit sympathy on us. We're very fortunate, but you know, this is not some big corporation. They're really breaking it on our family, you know, that, uh, that has a life and, you know, employees. Yeah, and that's something Brian really wanted to reiterate over and over again. People see a big chain name like Papa John's and they assume that they're hurting a corporation, but they're not. In this situation, they're hurting small business owners that only own two locations and, as he said, put their life savings into it. Now, uh, Brian kept telling me repeatedly that he is just very thankful that this all happened while the store was closed and that their employees were not subjected to any of this. Uh, he also told me today that their landlord does not allow them to have cameras on the outside of the building, which would have been helpful to maybe catch the car that these guys came and went in. He tells me the landlord has made an exception and they'll now be able to put cameras on the outside of the building. Hopefully they'll catch some license plates if this happens again. Yeah.